Hello everyone, this is LEGO Toby, and today I will be doing a review of the LEGO Infinity Saga Avengers Endgame Final Battle LEGO set. This LEGO set has 527 pieces, 6 minifigures, 1 micro figure, and 1 big figure. And this set retails for $70 in the United States and was released back in summer of 2021. And the set number for this LEGO set is 76192. And now let's take a look at the figure selection. And and I guess um, because this is a pretty big LEGO set, I guess what we're going to need to do here is start small. Literally. So here we have Ant-Man. And uh, he is an exclusive figure to this LEGO set. And, uh, yeah, um, he's pretty cool, I'd say. Um, and, uh, he has some nice front printing, but no real back printing. So, yeah, aside from that, I don't think I have too much else to say about this, uh, figure. Let's move on to the Chitari, which, honestly, um, you can get in the $20, um, Dragon Flyer set, as well as a $150 Guardian ship, and uh, he has some nice um, front and back torso and head printing, and yeah, despite the fact this is a far more detailed Chitari minifigure than the original 2019 version, well, technically the original 2012 version, but more detailed than the 2019 version, his accessory is kind of boring. Just a generic stud shooter in silver, which, if you don't know how stud shooters work, you just press on this right here, and the stud just shoots out like that. Yeah, nothing too interesting there. Oops, I shot the stud out again. Um, yeah, but let's move on to, uh, Iron Man Mark 85, to be specific. And, yeah, um, he does have this, like thrust build, I guess I could call it, as well as uh, this transparent blue power blast piece, which if you don't know how these work or haven't seen my previous LEGO set review, just press on this and it should shoot out like that. Um, and he also has this um, interesting build for like this nanotech shield, which was indeed from the movie Avengers Endgame, so nice touch of accuracy right there. You also get a, um, a couple stickers right there, and, yeah, and aside from that, we get, as always with Iron Man minifigures, we get some nice front and back torso, oops, front torso, leg and torso printing, and even some more torso printing on the back, and sorry, I knocked down the Chitari and Ant-Man minifigures, and he even has the classic 2012 Iron Man helmet piece where you can lift up the visor, and it shows the visor projection, which, of, as always, on the back face print, um, it's just a civilian Tony Stark, which LEGO did actually include a hairpiece for. And yeah, a um, pretty nice minifigure. But yeah, aside from that, same um, head prints since... Uh, 2018 for most Iron Man minifigures, so yeah, nothing new there really. And this is also an Iron Man minifigure you can get from the now retired Avengers Compound Battle Lego set, as well as the $40 Avengers Sanctuary 2 Endgame Battle. But next up, we've got ourselves Black Panther which you can also get in the Dragon Flyers the set, which is $20. And, he, and as always, he has some nice front and back torso printing. Um, but aside from that, um, nothing really new here. Um, but still a cool figure. And next up, we get to, I guess, um, Fat Thor, I suppose. Um... He has a really nice build for Stormbreaker. The same build for Stormbreaker since 2018. And he also has some nice front torso printing. 
and a nice face print as well, and interesting hair piece. And his back face print um, features him being, like, energized and getting ready for battle. And if you remove the uh, cape piece, you can tell he has some nice back printing. And this variant of Thor only appears in the uh, $150 Guardians ship set, aside from this Lego set. So, yeah, so not the most common minifigure to come by, but still a really good minifigure, I'd say. And then next up, we have this variant of Captain America, which is a pretty sweet exclusive variant of Captain America to this Lego set. Um... And he has the really, really cool um, new Captain America shield design since 2019, as well as the original 2012 Mjolnir design, or Thor's hammer, in case you were wondering what this is. And as always, he has some nice um, front and whoops, front and back torso printing, which again, is actually exclusive to this Lego set as far as I can tell. It also has the 2019 Captain America cowl piece, and when, and a lot like the Iron Man minifigure, he has, like, the, I guess, a strap right here when he's wearing the helmet, and he's, like, more determined, but on the back, he is just smiling and looks confident. So, yeah, um, that's the Captain America minifigure for ya. And then next up, we've got Wanda, which um, is also an exclusive character to this Lego set. She comes with um, the 2018 Power Blast pieces, but in pink, which I do find interesting. Um, and there's just more of the Power Blast pieces. But removing the Power Blast pieces, you just get Wanda, the minifigure herself which is uh, pretty nice. She has some nice exclusive torso printing. Um, so that's pretty cool. And she, of course, has some back torso printing. And uh, her face print is just the same face print that was from the minifigure series, where her back face print is just her with, uh, I guess, glowing eyes. And yeah, pretty cool minifigure, I'd say. Um, so, yeah. And aside from, uh, Wanda, we finally get to the big bad of this Lego set. Or I guess in general, the Infinity Saga, the exclusive Thanos big figure. That's right. The one we have all been waiting for. Thanos. Finally with a double-bladed butter knife sword as his accessory, which is pretty awesome, I'd say. Um, but removing the butter knife sword, we also have this sweet um, big figure, which has has some really detailed uh, torso and legs prints, and the back actually has four studs on it, which is pretty new for big figures, and he also has uh, generic purple arms. But obviously, the most interesting thing about this new Thanos big figure is the removable headpiece, which you can actually remove. And this is actually a normal headpiece, which you can attach to normal minifigures. Let me just grab this Chitari as an example. Um, yeah, um, take a look at this. Um... And you can also attach normal minifigure heads like the Chitari to uh, Thanos as well. And yeah, that is pretty creepy looking if you ask me. And yeah, but honestly this is what the new big figure piece looks like by itself, which is pretty cool. Um, and I, alongside many other LEGO fans, do hope this does eventually become a staple to big figures in the future, but now I just gotta put the head back on the Chitari, and just gotta put Thanos back together again, like he should be. But yeah, really cool big figure, 
really cool new big figure headpiece, and I definitely hope it gets, and again, this is definitely something that I hope becomes a staple of many big figures in the future. It is also wor oh, worth pointing out that this is the very first bald Thanos big figure as well, which is pretty awesome. Now that we're finally done with the figure selection for this Lego set, let's take a look at the rest of the set itself. Now, first of all, um, let's just start with the um, Ant-Man's van, which, honestly, if I had to be honest with you, is accurate looking, but it's definitely not the most perfect looking van. I mean, obviously you can do the normal things you can do with a Lego vehicle, um, and you do get a sticker right here and back here as well. And a uh, really interesting sticker right here, which features like a bumper sticker showing like Ant-Man's mask and a couple ants, so I like that. And you can actually remove this top part, and uh, in here um, you'll notice a sticker of like uh, controls as well. And yeah, there are a couple holes right there, and yeah, I don't think I like that, but you can like put a minifigure in there, which is pretty awesome. But, yeah, aside from that, like, it's just a ton of left interior and just, like, a couple holes, which, yeah, I don't think I'm very fond of that. Um, like, and I don't think I built this set wrong either, like, yeah. And over on the back here, you can actually remove this, and thus features another sticker right here, revealing, like, the quantum portal, I guess. So, that is really, really cool. But aside from that, though, I definitely do not have too much else to say about Ant-Man's van. It is at least accurate to the movie, but, yeah, it's not the greatest build I've ever seen. Um, and then we get to the official Avengers compound itself. And, yeah, it's a really cool build, I'd say. Um, I, uh, I'm just gonna remove, like, the side areas, like this one first, and you can turn this around, and this is just a normal turret, um, and you can press this button right here, and it does shoot out. Yeah, just like that. It is a pretty powerful shooter, I'd say, and it is the new 2020 version, not the classic early 2000s version that were, that many LEGO fans grew up with. And on the other side, we have some... Uh, Carnage, um, oh, and also for this build right here, the turret build, um, you do get a sticker here and here. Anyways, back to the Carnage build, um, it's just, like, Carnage or, like, debris from the destruction of the Avengers compound. We do get this really interesting sticker of, like, the Avengers logo all, like, wrecked and all that. And, in general, it's a really interesting build. I guess you could adjust this a little bit, because it's on a Technic piece. But, aside from that, there is not too much else to say about it. So, yeah, now that we've took care of all that, let's just take a look at the exterior for the official Avengers Compound building. As always, we have a door here, which you can open and close, as always. As well as an in incredibly incredibly painful sticker to put on right here. It is still a pretty cool sticker, but oh my gosh, it was incredibly painful to put on. We also get some windows, which are pretty awesome. And even up here, even a satellite dish, which you can just spin around, as well as what I'm guessing is like a, a speaker, I'm guessing. And yeah, aside from that, there isn't too much else to say about the exterior. It is definitely the interior where this Lego set really shines, which, um, I'm just gonna turn around, and thus we get to the interior. I suppose the first thing to address about the interior is the cage right here, which, um, you can, as always, open and close, but the interesting thing about the cage is that, um, you can actually grab Thanos over here. Um, yeah, mean old Thanos, and, uh, remove his, uh, double-bladed butter knife sword, because it is incredibly massive, and just put him in here like that, 
and you can also fit the Chitari in the cage as well, and as a result, they're now in prison for snapping half of all life in the universe. Yeah, that's basically a meme from what I've heard, so, yeah. And then over here, um, you can actually remove this, uh, table, and what you get here is... A ton of painful stickers to put on. You get a nice sticker right here, a sticker here, and a sticker here, and a sticker here. But you also get this uh, red gauntlet piece, which I'm guessing represents the nano gauntlet, which is pretty cool. And it just it goes here, and it's really cool. And you can put the table back in there, because that's the only real reason for that room. And there's also this really cool hallway. I mean, I guess it's something I shouldn't be making too much of a big deal about, but I do kind of like that feature. It kind of makes it a bit more real, if I will. I don't know. And then over up here, um, we have um, a print of the iconic Avengers logo, as well as a couple cup pieces in silver. And even the, like... A coffee drink, I guess I'll call it, piece. Um, and as you also get uh, three seats and even a, a plant. And you also get a couple stickers for uh, Captain Marvel and Rocket. And you can tell that uh, I've had a pretty tough time putting this sticker on because, like, you can just like see the circle on Captain Marvel's mouth. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, that you can tell that. Yeah, th yeah, like these transparent stickers in general are just so difficult to put on. Like they just, yeah. You also get a weapons holder right here, which is pretty cool, I'd say. And yeah, aside from that, that is literally all I have to say about the uh, physical product of this Lego set. So, yeah. So as always, all I have left to do is take a look at the box. And uh, I think I'm just going to have to remove everything from here because, like, it is a pretty massive um, box. Like, really, really massive. But, like, here we go. Oh my gosh. Like... Yeah, this is a really massive box, and, uh, yeah, I'm just, like, removing everything off the desk, because it is kind of that massive of a box size, but here we go. Yeah, this is the entire box, and, uh, despite this being a pretty long box size, it is also surprisingly thin for a box size as well, like, it's like the smaller Lego sets are getting, like, more thicker box sizes, and yet the larger sets are just getting thin, thin box sizes. Like, maybe not paper thin, obviously. Well, I guess technically cardboard is paper, but yeah. And you do have the back of the box, which um, features some of the play features, as well as, like, in general, um, just stuff from the Lego set. So, yeah. My gosh, that was incredibly incredibly massive and now for me to uh grab the uh instructions booklet and thus we get a pretty massive instructions booklet um and a pretty thick one at that um let's see what the advertisements are and as always i mean you just get advertisements for the uh rest of the mainline Infinity Saga Lego sets, and please check out my review for this set right here. You also just, um, have an advertisement for the three Winter 2021 $10 Marvel Mech sets, and on the back here it's just your typical win advertisement with the pirate on the back, um, for basically every Marvel Lego set. So, now for me to put everything um, back where they were.